to ease Middlesbrough's homesickness. The Slave and Baird partnership failed to put away the only two clear-cut chances. Watford keeper David James saved the first from Ian. Then Paul Kerr and Robbie Musto combined to set up Bernie. But his shot flew over the top. The half-time oranges were eaten on the pitch. A power cut had darkened the Ayrson Park dressing rooms. Borough looked more switched on in the second half though, but Ian Baird was to feature in the miss of the day. He couldn't possibly fail in the six-yard box. Somehow, he did. At the other end, Watford's much-travelled Paul Wilkinson thought he'd scored, but Andy Dibble got a hand to it. Meanwhile, Middlesbrough still tried to unlock the Watford door. Kerr wriggled his way through, the ball was only half cleared to the Borough's man of the match, Jimmy Phillips, but he found the woodwork. Breakthrough finally came with just 15 minutes left. Bustling Baird out jumps Glenn Roder, then carries on to hold off another challenge and slot home his 15th of the season, but his first in 11 games. It should have killed off Watford. It should have, but Wearsider Gary Porter found a way around the borough wall and passed Dibble. 1 1, and the home voodoo was about to strike again. Just a minute left on the watch when substitute David Byrne ran and ran at the retreating rear guard. Musto ducked and Byrne's brilliant bender finished off the borough and gave Watford their...